What? Why am I alive? <gasps> you are a toy. You belong to Bonnie. These are your friends. Hello. Hi. Hi. Woody, I have a question. Um, well, actually, not just one. I have all the questions. Welcome to Mexico, um, Josh. Tell us about the moment you found out you'll be the director of Toy Story 4. Uh, yeah, that was a big one. The um, I was asked to, to take to direct the film, and and it was uh, in my head. It kind of got. <laughs> Like a little like fuzzy and <laughs> you know, that kind of like <laughs> like I'm not kind of watching this happen a little bit, and uh, but it was a huge honor. I love these characters so much, which made it even more terrifying to do it because <laughs> the last thing I want to do in the world is mess it up. And uh, but it's such a huge honor, and it was and and terrifying at the same time. And I didn't sleep for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> John, as, as producer, yes. which one was the big, biggest challenge we'll make this film? I think it's um, the fact that Toy Story 4, uh, Toy Story is so beloved. Mm -hmm. Everyone mm -hmm. loves the Toy Story movies. We do, and uh, I think people specifically talk about the third film and the end and how that felt like the end. And I think the mm -hmm. hardest part was, I think, us figuring out a way to honor that and not... Mm -hmm. Um, step on it. I mean, we yeah. have people that, it's funny because the, the, a lot of the people uh, that work on the crew, we have people that worked on the original mm -hmm. Toy Story. I worked on the original one, working right next to people that were six years old when the film, the first one came out. It's the first movie they ever oh, seen, yes. right? And so we have this a um, uh, little bit of an attitude of uh, we're not going to mess this up. Like, this is our mm -hmm. childhood and this is our careers. And so we just embraced that as a team. But the hardest part was, I think, making sure that we had something hard, deep enough to say to, to justify it. I know, this is a little strange, but we all have to make sure nothing Woody! happens to Forky. Woody! <laughs> uh, something happened to him. Buzz, we gotta get Forky. Roger that. We love the original characters. Mm -hmm. Which uh, about the ideal of Boo uh, come back to this movie? Oh, Bo, Bo Peep, her yeah. coming back? Yes. That was a big driver of the whole thing. I mean, it was yeah, always... from day one, it was always, mm. you know, what we were thinking, what happened to Bo? We didn't see her in Toy Story 3 at all. There's one small mention of her, which to me is like one of the most emotional parts of that movie, yeah. yes. which is that just that little way that Woody says, yeah, yeah, even Bo. There's so much behind it's that. It's almost like, you know, in memoriam to her, a little yeah, bit, like a yeah. mystery. And so that's why the beginning of the film, I said, we need, we need to kind of connect those two, you know. So, um, but from day one, it was always about Bo Peep and... And uh, our code name was Peep for, for the movie from from day one, and I just for for me it was always about the relationship that they've had between each other. She's always been such a strong character, even from Toy Story two and one. Whenever he was frustrated, he would go to her and mm -hmm. and say like, you know, what am I supposed to do? And she'd say, look under your boot or some some sort of wisdom that always showed that she was a, really the strongest character in the room the whole time. Okay, in three words, describe me uh, the next character. Jonas, Forky. Yes. Forky. Just talk Forky. Okay, Forky. Yeah, Forky to me is one In of three the... Words? Three, three words? Oh, three words. Yes. Forky to it's me. Forky to me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> challenge. No, 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 another. Uh, I'll do it. I'll do it. Go I'll ahead. Do you get, yeah, uh, please. Uh, okay. Innocence, mm -hmm. comedy, and, and heart. And trash. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I like mine better. Okay. Forky to me. <laughs> Gabby, Gabby. Gabby, Gabby. Um, Terrifying. Yeah, mm -hmm. lost mm -hmm. and tragic. Oh my God, this oh. sounds so heavy. Well, yeah. It's a woman. <laughs> she is. Uh, Ducky and Bunny. <laughs> Confident. Uh, hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> yeah. Jiggle, knock, dim, dim. Oh, powerful. Mm. The boss. Big. <laughs> okay. Duke. Oh, I love that. Powerful. <laughs> Tragic. <laughs> <laughs> um, dreamer. <laughs> Benson. Benson. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> dreamer. <laughs> dreamer. <laughs> silent. I don't uh, know. Silent. Uh, yeah. Mysterious. Yeah. <laughs> we should have we had her do this before we made the movie. No. This would have been, been great. <laughs> okay, okay. Bunny. Oh, uh, it's a, uh, adorable. Mm. Creative. Mm. Yeah. What do you save me? I've known that guy my whole life. Two days. Is that how we look on the inside?
There's so much fluff. Okay, the move. Um, the movie talks about our inner voice. In which moment, while working for Pixar, did you decide to listen to their inner word? Oh, yeah. Great question. I know. Um, Every day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there, it's a great question because you, you spend so much time in story, crafting mm -hmm. the story and crafting the plot. And I remember the, kind of working with Andrew and us in the story mm -hmm. department, talking about, you know, what's really driving them? What's real? What's Woody? And it just seemed like this opportunity. Woody's a pull string cowboy. Buzz has the buttons where mm -hmm. they say one thing, but they they're thinking another. I think we just leaned into. Like what's really driving Woody, and what what are we really trying to say? And Woody's in a he's so dutiful, he's so about his sense of his job and doing the right thing, and um, almost to a fault. And I don't know, there was just something with this mix of characters. Bo Peep, I remember talking about her like Toy Story's first realist. Like mm -hmm. she kind of knows the truth before Woody does, and it just started to feel that this movie was. Um, where the other movies are great and fun and external adventures, this movie became more about the internal kind of clock of each character a little bit, the internal voice. So that just sort of made its way into the story. I don't know if that, that's just how I'm feeling yeah. about it. But You're asking when, when we, we used our inner voice? Mm, yes. Oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> probably, this, probably when I said yes to directing the, the movie. Mm, yes. Just use your gut. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Give us, um, give us hints to look for the Easter eggs in the film, please. Oh my All God. All you have to do is pause <laughs> any frame in the antique store and you'll find a hundred of them in there. Okay. There's, there's, there's something ten, from every single Pixar movie. There's 10,000 items in yeah. the antique store and most of them are from other <laughs> Pixar films. <laughs> uh, how was his war with uh, Sosha Kastam? Tim, Tom, Annie? Kenu, Tony, Jordan. Oh, our cast, yeah, the best <laughs> cast in the world. They're yes. the greatest. They're just, not only are they the best at what they do, but they were just the nicest people. You know, we so love them. Work with. <clears throat> they don't come to this movie um, to, they take it so seriously. They treat it like it's any role that they would do in, in, in any other film. I mean, Tom Hanks doesn't come to just do a funny cartoon voice. He oh. is this character, and he's the most amazing actor, mm -hmm. and he works with us. And, and he and works hard. He works hard. I mean, they're done, you know, there's a lot of like, ah, ah, boss, come on, ah, 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 you know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> and so by the end of it, he's, he's sweating. <laughs> you know, it's hard work. We feel so lucky to work yeah. with them. That's where Forky is being kept. How do we get that key? What about the old plush rush? There you go. Oh, where did you two come from? Well, we're not doing that.